This year, I'll be hiking the Appalachian Trail, a scenic trail starting in Georgia and ending in Maine. I'll be hiking through 14 states, 2,200 miles, with nothing other than what's on my back. First off, I'm going to share with you guys my sleep system. So this is what I plan on sleeping in. I have a Duraton 20 degree mummy style sleeping bag. It has a water resistant shell. It's pretty lightweight and it's made of synthetic hollow fiber. I was going to use this on my first hike in 2020, then decided that I wasn't going to go because of COVID. And I figure I might as well use a bag that I already have. So. I'm gonna use that, see how that works out. I've used it on some short-term camping trips, like weekend stuff, and it's been fine, but we all know that it's gonna be different when I'm spending as much time as I'm going to be outside. I also got a hike and shirt compression sack. So this will fit down my sleeping bag so that I'm able to fit it into my pack pretty nicely. Um, this is like 13 bucks on Amazon, so. This is the steel. I also have this Latoom Thermalite all season sleeping bag liner. It's supposed to add up to 22 degrees of warmth at night, so I'm hoping that this comes in handy. I also have the Thermarest Neo Air Extra Light Sleeping Pad. It's pretty light, it's made out of nylon, it's water resistant. And the only thing about this is it's kind of noisy when you're deflating it in the morning. But other than that, it's pretty easy to use and I've had no issues with it so far. I'll also be sleeping in just a wool base layer. And this one's from Heli Hansen. It's pretty warm. I've been using it all winter when I've been sleeping in the van and it's worked out just fine for me. I'm also going to be using a pair of fleece lined leggings. This is just a random pair that I got off of Amazon. It's nothing fancy. I think the brand was called Dinner Tape or something like that. And then I have a pair of wool socks. Keep the toesies nice and uh, steamy. I'll most likely be sleeping with my winter buff as well. It has a nice fleece liner in here and I can just use that as a headband that goes over my ears. I've been using this a lot this winter too. And Love it. Other than that, I'll probably be using my puffy on those really cold nights. I'll be sleeping with that and then, you know, my winter hat and just adding more layers as we go. The next thing that I'll show you is my tent. So it's going to be my house for the next six months. Oh my god. This little cat just got a mouse. Oh no, 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 no. All right, I need to go do this somewhere else. I'll be using the two-person Nemo Hornet ultralight backpacking tent. This thing weighs all together about a pound and 15 ounces. It has two doors, aluminum poles, and the rain fly is super efficient. I've been camping during some pretty brutal rainstorms and I've been able to stay dry throughout the night. So we'll see how this tent from REI does on a 2200 mile trek. Mostly all the items that I'm gonna be bringing on trail are quick drying, they're odor resistant, and they're also sweat wicking. So for my base layer, I got this from REI. It's a merino wool base layer. And then I'm gonna pair that with a hoodie that I got from Patagonia. It's an R1 men's pullover. I just really liked how it fit. And it has a waffle textile, so that would be really good to trap in heat. I was kind of debating about bringing these pants or not, but I decided that I would. It's the Koala Tree Trailhead pants. They're super comfortable, they're waterproof, they're tear resistant, and they're also antimicrobial. They do have this cool packing detail where you can pack the pants into a pillow. The last couple pieces of clothing I have is an Under Armour t-shirt and some Under Armour leggings. I really feel like you can never go wrong with Under Armour. Well, there you have it. For my pack, I'll be using the circuit from ULA Equipment. It's super lightweight. It's 36.6 ounces, and I love the hip belt on it. Super spacious, and this front pocket's really roomy as well. Let things dry out over there. It's a roll top style bag, which are my favorite. And I've taken it with me on a couple of backpacking trips. Never one this long, but I'm sure it'll do just fine. For my rain gear, I'm gonna be wearing the Paca. And this is actually a two-in-one piece of gear. It's also a pack cover as well. So my pack will be underneath here during the rain. And we got fit fits. I'm gonna be rocking the Ultra Lone Peak Sixes. They're trail runners. And then I'll have Tevas as sandals and camp shoes. I'll also be using black diamond hiking poles. 
and in gingy sock liners as well as three pairs of darn tough socks I'll bring with me. I also have my buff there, which is one of my favorite pieces of gear. I'll use that as a headband, sweatband, uh, neck warmer. I'll have my sun hat, black diamond headlight, and some hot hands just in case. For my cooking system, I'm going to be bringing a Soto backpacking stove. I just twisted it onto this Coleman canister that I have, but it's pretty lightweight. The stove weighs about 4 ounces, 4.2 ounces I think to be exact, and it folds up really nicely and fits right back into the drawstring bag that it came with. So I'll probably just end up storing the stove in the pot that I'm going to bring. And I'm bringing the Tokes Titanium Pot. It's a 750 milliliter pot and it also comes with a cover. And I'll also be bringing a Bic. I'll be eating with this Sea to Summit Spork. And then I also have a Sea to Summit collapsible mug as well. I thought this was a really cool piece of gear. I've never seen it before, but it's called the Spice Rocket and it's from GSI Outdoors. It can fit six different spices in it and you kind of just twist your way around to which spice that you need. So salt on the left, pepper on the right, and then if I wanted the spices underneath, I can just twist that right off and go for it that way. And since I'm going to be trying to eat 100% plant-based on the trail, spices are always really important to flavor up food. To store all my food and supplies, I'll be using a Yursac Major. This thing is pretty light. It's seven and a half ounces and it's tightly weaved, so it's super durable, bear resistant, and I'll pair it with an Opsac to kill the scent of the food. For my water filtration system, I'll be using the Sawyer Squeeze. I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail because I broke my other one on my last backpacking trip, but I'll also be using the Seanock Outdoors two liter bag, as well as a couple of smart water bottles. I'll also be bringing the Garmin InReach Mini for safety reasons. This is a satellite communicator with GPS, and that way, if there's ever an emergency, we're able to hook right up with search and rescue and get it sorted out. Here are a few more miscellaneous items that I'm bringing with me on the trail. I have some PVC stitch, some tent patches, a Kula cloth, a water bottle holder from Chicken Tramper Ultralight Gear. Thank you for this, by the way. They sent this to me for free, as well as a Chicken Tramper Ultralight Gear strap pocket for your phone. Very cool. And a serrated knife, a first aid kit, sunglasses, and a mosquito head net. For the electronics that I'll be bringing on trail, I'm going to be using the Insta360 One X2 camera. To charge that, I'll be using an Anchor battery. I also have another battery that I'll be bringing with me from Verizon. I have all of the charging cords and blocks, as well as some extra batteries for my headlamp. and. A storage case with some micro SD cards in here that will reduce the risk of me losing them because they are so super tiny and I'll also be bringing the phone that I'm recording this video from. I'll also be carrying a small hygiene bag that will have toothpaste, a toothbrush, chapstick, nail clippers, soap, and deodorant. So that's everything I'll be taking with me on the Appalachian Trail. And if you have any specific questions or want to know more, just write in the comments and I'll reply below. I'll be hopefully doing weekly vlogs on YouTube, daily posts on TikTok, and maybe once every other couple of days on Instagram to keep everybody updated. I'm going to try to stay as active as I can on the socials while still being present in the moment through my hike. And I'm just really excited to spend this quality time with nature. And if you want to follow along, you know where you can find me. Have a wonderful week. And I appreciate and love every single one of you. Thank you. Bye.